Hey Scott, I'm over here by Mesa Verde. This is the tree that's in question, but the whole thing is in bloom. The really neat part, well, okay, I find fascinating, but people are probably freak out. But these trees, especially when it's full of life as it is now, is so attractive to bees. It's just a major food source. So you're gonna have thousands of bees in the area making a bunch of noise flying between the flowers but they're actually gonna be the most gentle they'll ever be because all they're after is food. And you can start to see a couple of bees flying around, but uh, it's probably gonna be up towards its tail end of blooming, which means this problem is just gonna go away on its own. Uh, the other thing to know is when you, there's an active colony, they kind of go ninja mode. They don't wanna be found. So like the bees inside irrigation boxes, people usually don't ever discover them because they're so quiet until they realize, hey, there's some bees flying around here, then it becomes problematic. In this case, they just make a buttload of noise and don't really do anything. But here, you can start to hear the hum. We've got about a dozen bees up in this quadrant right here. And that's about it. And then the most important thing is when they are feeding, they don't care about who's down here. Does They don't care what's going on. They're just after the food and going home. It's kind of like us when we go to the grocery store. We're not there to pick a fight. We're just there to get food, go home, eat dinner, and hopefully watch something fun.